The 10 best teams from across South San Francisco gathered at Genentech for the Helix Cup Finals. I got to attend with a few other students who acted as field reporters to capture the day's events. For the final challenge, the teams needed to solve a problem that affects people living in hot climates without refrigeration. Imagine you're a doctor that needs to travel to bring medicine to a patient using a scooter or riding a bicycle. How do you keep the medicine from getting ruined by the heat? An evaporative cooler, also known as a swamp cooler, is a simple refrigerator used to preserve medicine in places with no electricity. To keep their medicines cool, each team will have to demonstrate an understanding of moisture, airflow, and precipitation. They're not my A students. They're probably lower, even in the D and F range sometimes. And there are kids who are succeeding. There are kids who are doing um, a magnificent job. To take home the Helix Cup, one team would have to build an evaporative cooler that produced the greatest average temperature drop over the course of 20 minutes. With science, there's a lot you can learn and a lot you can discover. Like. I always started with just like cells and all that. I would say the Higgs Cup has improved my ideas and perspective of science. It's shown us all a new way of thinking about science, experiments that show us how we can build with just common objects and how we can make it into things that can help other people. How does a teacher with, you know, 200 plus kids have that one on one time without, you know, something like the like a lab or a helix cup. At this point, the teams are each debating on the best approach. Each kid is throwing out ideas, and then the group thinks it through. What school do you go to? Westboro Middle School. And what, what team are you on? Uh, team Crunchy Eyes. And that's an all-girls team, right? Yeah. So with girls, it's kind of like you each give out your ideas and you find the best one that works out. If we make it like a little wet and we just cut off this part, because of the Helix Cup, I now realize how much science is in our real world. I feel that some people don't learn from the textbook or notes usually. Sometimes people are better when they do things hands-on. Based off the Helix Cup, it's something that I would want to do more. And at this grade level, kids are able to say, oh, maybe I can do science. I could feel the tension in the room as the teams all finalized their evaporative coolers. Now comes the testing. To put the challenge in a real-world context, each team had to hop on stationary bikes set up against backdrops of scenes around the world and deliver their medicine to remote areas. with an average temperature drop of 20.7 degrees, representing Alta Loma, Power Rangers. In second place, with an average temperature drop of 25.7 degrees, representing Westboro, Crunchy Ice, with a 33.9 degree drop in temperature, representing Alta Loma. Please help me in congratulating the Helix Cup winner aerodynamically. Like tearing up because we're I mean, like, this isn't real. Um, I jumped up because I didn't think it was real. I kind of like hit the side of my face with Genesis' face. I'm like, Ugh, Genesis. How are you feeling right now? Totally insane. We were like, we're not going to do this. We were like, all right, like, we're like, we're going over there. And I was like, this is so cool. I want to work in like a science field, kind of. I don't know what, though, yet. I'm only 14, OK? I still have my whole life ahead of me. Team Aerodynamically won the Helix Cup, and we're all super proud of them. But every student involved, 
whether they got knocked out at the end of the second round or made it to the finals, got a chance to see what life would be like as a scientist. And if you ask me, that's the start of something pretty great.